Good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Portia Jackson, Business Development Manager with the City of Houston's Office of Business Opportunity. And we, along with our sponsors, Houston Airport System, Houston Public Works, and the City of Houston's General Services Department, welcome you to the 12th annual, but first ever, virtual Meet the Buyer Procurement Forum, where we are procuring virtually. We have some amazing workshops that's gonna take you through the process of procurement from A to Z, as well as over 50 vendors ready to engage with you at 9.30. So to get, get us started, let's hear from our mayor, Mayor Sylvester Turner. Good morning, and welcome to the City of Houston's Meet the Buyer Procurement Forum, presented to you by the Office of Business Opportunity. As in the case with so many events this year, this is the first time this annual event has been held in a completely virtual format. And I thank you for your participation today. At the City of Houston and OBO, we are committed to increasing opportunities for small businesses with a special focus on those owned by minority and women. Meet the Buyer aims to do just that. There are currently more than 4,100 small businesses certified in the city of Houston in many industries, from construction, engineering and energy, to healthcare, technology and retail, to professional and legal services, and everything in between. In the last fiscal year, the city of Houston awarded more than $741 million to these certified firms. And despite COVID, the opportunities to do business with the city continue to grow. Those of you who are here today can use this opportunity to meet and network with procurement agents from the city and other governmental agencies and with many prime contractors and resource organizations. This event will also walk you step by step through the procurement process through live dynamic workshops where you can ask questions and obtain information about the latest city's projects. For more than a decade, thousands of small businesses have participated in the Meet the Buyer Forum to make many valuable connections. And I encourage you to do the same this year. I wish all of you much success in all your endeavors, especially as we get ready to close out 2020. May you all find many fruitful opportunities today. Thank you, Mayor, for those encouraging remarks. Next, we have on the line, Vice Mayor Pro Tem, Martha Cassick tatum Vice Mayor Pro Tem, welcome. Hello. Hello. Good morning and welcome to our Meet the Buyer Procurement Forum. I'm Vice Mayor Pro Tem, Martha Cassick tatum and as the chairperson of the City of Houston's Economic Development Committee, I'm so excited to see so many participants utilizing this opportunity to connect and network with our City of Houston procurement agents, other governmental agencies, and prime contractors. Small businesses are the lifeblood of our economy, and it is imperative that we foster opportunities to grow your businesses, expand your capacities, and just keep projects in the pipeline. The innovation and employment opportunities brought to our small communities by our small businesses is unparalleled. You are to be commended for putting in the work and for investing in yourselves and your businesses. It is my hope that today's forum will benefit the participants as well as the presenters in ways you never imagined. Your participation today will surely benefit you post pandemic and play a pivotal role in our overall economic recovery as a city. Stay encouraged, do something outside of your comfort zone, take a deep breath, smile, be brave, take risks and have fun. Make it a great day. As you can see, the city is totally behind the success of our small businesses. That is why it's so important to for us to bring you events like Meet the Buyer to help and assist you in your journey. There are so many resources available, starting right here with the Office of Business Opportunity. Everyone, please welcome OBO Director Marsha E. Murray. 
Thank you, Portia. Good morning, everyone. And thank you, Mayor Turner and Vice Mayor Pro Tem, Cast of Tatum, for your welcome remarks. I'm Marsha Murray, Director of the Office of Business Opportunity. For the past several months, we have been busy preparing for today's Meet the Vibe Procurement Forum, and ex I'm excited that we're able to bring you this event in a virtual format. Since the start of COVID-19 pandemic, my team has been committed to the con continuity of our services and programs and to deliver them to you in accessible and innovative formats. Meet the VAR is no exception, and I'm happy to see you all tuning in from your homes and offices, maybe even on mobile devices in your cars. COVID-19 has truly changed the way we do business. And through it all, OVO remains committed to cultivating a competitive and diverse economic environment in the city of Houston. We do this by promoting the success of small businesses. OVO administers the city's supplier diversity program and builds a pipeline of diverse businesses through our minority women owned small and disadvantaged business enterprise certification program. Our key objectives continue to be educate, connecting and growing small businesses. We know that now more than ever, your businesses are looking to diversify revenue streams, acquire credentials that make you more competitive and build your networks. I encourage each of you to utilize your time during today's forum to connect with businesses with whom you can partner on upcoming projects. It is essential for you to continuously grow your network and to forge these relationships well in advance of contracting opportunities becoming available. The live seminars today will provide guidance on various topics, including contract compliance certification and certification. In addition to visiting our exhibitor booths, you can also make the most of your experience at Meet the Buyer by tuning in to our on-demand seminars, where we'll cover access and capital for procurement, citywide small business development programs, how to access business resources, and the role of certification in procurement. I encourage you to participate in these sessions and ask questions that you may have about the topics covered. After today's forum, as you find new ways to grow your businesses and navigate the procurement process, know that OVO also has a multitude of resources to help you reach your goals and rise above the challenges brought on by the current economic environment. Since the start of the pandemic, OVO has been working to bring you assistance, all virtually and accessible on our website at HoustonTX.org gov forward slash OVO. There you can find our COVID-19 resource hub, which offers a collection of important links with information about financial resources, as well as health and safety information for business owners and your employees. As of today, nearly a thousand local small businesses have been approved for City of Houston Small Business Economic Relief Program grants, ranging in funding from $1,000 to $50,000. On our website, you can also find an application to our Houston Small Business Legal, Legal Consultations Program through a collaboration with Vincent and Elkins and almost 20 other top tier law firms. This program gives you access to pro bono legal support with one hour consultations about general business issues via telephone. These legal consultations, which are free to you, are valued at $400 to $1,000 an hour. If your business is not yet certified as a minority woman, small or disadvantaged business enterprise, I encourage you to consider the benefits of receiving certification from the city of Houston. Certification allows firms to participate on city contracts as, as gold credit subcontractors in the city's supplier diversity program. All certified firms are listed in the city's online directory and receive access to targeted workshops to encourage their participation in regional contracting opportunities. To prepare for certification, you can certainly attend today's seminar, but you can also attend our virtual pre-certification workshops, which are now accessible on demand and in live virtual formats. Click the certification tab on our homepage to register for the live virtual workshops available every Tuesday, or to view the on-demand workshop available in English and Spanish any time of day. Also do check out our access granted our webinar series geared towards connecting small businesses to resources during COVID-19 and beyond. Access Granted features guest panelists from a variety of industries who share their expertise in disaster relief, virtual networking, branding and marketing, marketing, business repurposing, contract bidding, mentorship, and much more. 
Next year, we will host offer a host of business development programs, including a procurement basics for government contracting workshop series, our Build of Houston and Turner School of Construction Management Capacity Building courses, and our interagency mentor protege program. Information about these free programs can be found in the business development section of our website or by contacting Dr. Portia Jackson directly. Dr. Jackson also provides one-on-one -on -one business counseling by appointment, and I would certainly be remiss if I did not thank her for her leadership and hard work in putting together today's Meet the Bar Forum along with dedicated members from the OVO team. Finally, you can contact the OVO Solution Center for general business development support and get questions about permitting and licensing. And if you haven't already done so, please sign up for our weekly email updates about resources and procurement opportunities by emailing us at ovosc at houstontx.gov. Before I go, I want to encourage you to prioritize your health and safety and that of your employees and customers. Let's continue to be Houston strong by masking up and following current CDC guidelines. As we look towards the new year, know that OVO is here to support your business. So please don't hesitate to re reach out to us via phone or email. And remember to visit houstontx.gov forward slash OVO for business resources. Thank you all for your participation today. Thank you, Marsha. I hope you all are all fired up as we continue to talk on opportunities. One of the things we do and we love to do at Meet the Buyer is to feature a major opportunity for our certified firms. Up next is one opportunity that is huge for all certified firms in almost every industry. Please welcome Sam DK and Robin Owens with Rice Management Company. Good morning and thank you. My name is Sam DK. I'm with the Rice Management Company. And good morning. I'm Robin Owens, also with Rice Management. Proceed to the next slide. First of all, I just want to thank the Office of Business Opportunity for inviting us to be here today and to showcase what we have to offer with the ION and the Innovation District. We're excited to be here and to excited to discuss the opportunities that we have before us. Again, my name is Sam DK. Thank you very much. Uh, and I'm here to talk about some of the opportunities that we have at present and in the future with the ION in the Innovation District. I'm the manager for strategic initiatives and I'm charged with building partnerships that create access for minority and women owned businesses uh, here uh, for this project. Let's see. Go to the next slide. There we go. OK, so this is just kind of a graphic that shows us kind of how uh, how we're kind of structured. Rice Management Company is the property owner of the ION and uh, the Innovation District, and we have currently available some opportunities for property management uh, services that will be handled by our property manager, Transwester. Impact uh, is helping us as a consultant uh, to identify eligible minority and women owned business firms that can participate in these opportunities. And the Office of Business Opportunity, as well as the Greater Houston Black Chamber, are serving as resources for some of the small businesses that are interested in these opportunities. We're going to get there. So just a little bit about the ION and the Innovation District. So the ION is going to be an area, a building that is for community gathering, workforce training, academic spaces, incubators, office spaces. It's, it's an innovation hub and it's going to be 280,000 square feet of space. It's in the old Sears in Midtown and we're scheduled to open that building hopefully in the first quarter of 2021. So we're very excited about this building serving as a catalyst for Houston's innovation ecosystem. The innovation district at large is going to 
be represent about three to five million square feet of mixed use real estate development and it will be focused around the public realm with open spaces mixed uses and other things that will help to activate the, the atmosphere in the district and this will be anchored by the ion so the goals of the ion and the innovation district specifically is to offer economic opportunities for all houstonians uh, that's through job training and entrepreneurship development and it's also to provide a space for collaboration between industry entrepreneurs academic partners and the community we also want to generate business and employment opportunities as i mentioned through job training and skills uh, job and skills training and entrepreneurship development but also small business upskilling so a brief history of the site uh, most folks understand that the site was uh, originally associated with the sears uh, and briefly uh, we have uh, it, as of 2017 when sears went into bankruptcy there was an idea to turn the site into an economic engine for houston and that's where the ion uh, came from so this site is centrally located and we believe will help kind of tie in the rest of the innovation ecosystem here in Houston and this map is kind of a graphic that shows the the different uh, uh, economic engines around Houston so rice's role uh, rice is playing a catalytic role here in this development uh, bringing together partners that can help support Houston's innovation ecosystem now, as I mentioned earlier, this district is really centered around an activated public realm. We want the first 40 feet of every single one of the buildings that happen to be in this district to be active public spaces and active uses. Uh, so it's, as you can see here, the, the grid of the, the buildings will be laid around a public, public spaces and public right, rights of way. Uh, this will help in, encourage that active use in that active public space. I just wanted to kind of give you all a visual of, of how this district is going to be developed very counter to what we typically do here in Houston, which is we build buildings first and then we put the public spaces after. This is really about putting the public spaces first and then building and putting the buildings around those spaces. This is just a graphic of how we hope to develop the spaces. This is a picture of the ion. If you've had an opportunity to drive by recently, it's more and more looking like this, except less uh, uh, less uh, graphic like this, but uh, more real realistic. Um, this is a few graphics of the interior of the building. Again, a lots of space for gathering and collaboration in this building. We hope those will be incidental uh, collaborations as well as intentional collaborations, but that's what happens when you bring individuals together. So today we have a lot of program that's focused on uh, diversity and inclusion and, and, and getting additional minority and women owned businesses involved. We have partnerships with Div Inc who's running an accelerator program for us, uh, General Assembly who's uh, working on some job training initiatives, uh, and also a, a number of other uh, partners that we are going to be building along the way. So look forward to additional uh, information about those. But specifically, we're here to talk about MWB participation. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background into the project. Uh, Rice Management Company recognizes that there's disparity in the marketplace uh, for access to opportunities for MWB firms. And that's why we're here today. There are numerous studies that have showed us that uh, there is a disparity in the marketplace. You know, City of Houston, Harris County, and the Port of Houston have all done studies that have shown the disparity. We understand those barriers to be a uh, number of project challenges uh, and industry challenges. Uh, some have to do with the large project size, some have to do with the bid uh, requirements, and some have to do with capacity. Uh, and then there's some things that are just basic, awareness of opportunities. Uh, sometimes MWB firms don't find out about opportunities until it's too late. Uh, so we recognize those barriers. And that's why we've come up with a philosophy. And our philosophy for our our RMC's rice management company's diversity philosophy is to build building community credibility and cultivating business partnerships, establishing edu excuse me, establishing educational pathways through the development of the ION in the innovation district. Rice is committing to a principled utilization of innovation and technology in, and uh, for the impact of diverse uh, 
contracting. So this is pretty much our philosophy here, and uh, I could read the entire thing, but I just wanted to give you kind of a, a, a preface of what we are looking at with our philosophy. So our approach is even more important. So we want to focus on new opportunities, capacity building, and existing opportunities. The new opportunities will expand MWB participation. And the first opportunity that we want to highlight is operations and maintenance. We also want to look at capacity building that will encourage and develop programs that build MWB's, MWB firm's ability to participate on additional opportunities that we'll have in the future. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, we want to make sure that we promote access uh, to economic opportunities that already exist with the project or that will, will exist in the future. So the focus going forward for us is the now, the next, and the future. The now is to focus on the real and immediate opportunities that we have. The next is to the increased uh, MWB capacity, and the future is to focus on further district opportunities that we can outline for, uh, for MWBE firms. Now to talk specifically about what those opportunities are, I'll, I'll turn to my colleague Robin, who will talk about uh, the opportunities for the property maintenance and then future opportunities with the garage. Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much. As, as Sam mentioned, my name is Robin Owens and I'm with Impact Strategic Consulting and our role on the project is to ensure that there are minority op there are opportunities for minority and women owned businesses to engage with the project in a time and in a manner so that they can really take advantage of the opportunities that are available. As Sam mentioned, the very first um, set of opportunities that are available are related to leasing uh, operations and maintenance and this specifically there are about 40 different um, scopes of work that are currently available for bid for interested minority firms. Um, the timeline that's currently um, on the screen shows you from December 2020 through 2022 what the opportunities are that are available and the price ranges for those particular contracts. These are going to range from small contracts that are about $1,000 in size up to $50,000 um, within the next year, in addition to some that are much larger in the $500,000 and above levels. Um, as I mentioned, these are leasing, these are operations and maintenance opportunities, but these are not the only opportunities that are available. Um, as we go forward into 2021, we're also going to begin construction on um, a garage, as well as future construction on retail, office, and residential opportunities that will involve major construction for um, certified minority firms as well. In the interim, it's also um, there are also some other opportunities that will be available that are on the screen. You think about things like floral items or painting or suppliers, um, electricians, and a variety of opportunities that are currently available um, through the Ion and Innovation District. One thing we also want to include, Sam talked quite a bit about the public spaces and the art and cultural impact that those will have on our city. We are also looking to include diverse artists as well. So there are opportunities across the board for minority and women-owned businesses to participate. I want to talk a little bit about some upcoming opportunities to get more information on the project. We are inviting interested firms to connect with the project either through coming for, to participate in a property walk this uh, on the 10th and the 11th of December or to just connect with us in general, we invite you to go to our website, which is hounnovate.com. hounnovate.com is the website. When you get there, please click on the opportunities tab and scroll down to input your information. That way we can stay in touch with you. We can give you information about the project and we can certainly get opportunities out to the community as they become available. Sam, I'll turn it back over to you to close. Again, we just want to thank the Office of Business Opportunity for allowing us to speak about this, the many different opportunities that we are going to have as a part of this project. This is a long-term uh, project, and we're excited to come back and speak more about the opportunities that are to come. So thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sam and Robin. That was great. That's so much information. I hope you guys are fired up about all the opportunities that are available here in Houston. If you have any questions on what Sam and Robert shared today, make sure you visit their virtual booth, Rice Management Company. And if you are not certified, make sure you visit the OBO booth. And just before we um, transition and you guys go and, and start clicking on the, the virtual vendor booth, let me make sure I give you some housekeeping rules here. So, 
Each vendor has their own booth. So when you go to the booth, you're going to look under Meet the Buyer 2020 Vendor Area. You can click and visit as many of the vendors as you want. You'll just go to the link and click on that, that um, department or that organization's name. It will put you directly with them one-on-one. -on -one. And the beauty of this virtual environment is that some of our vendors are not only meeting with you one-on-one, -on -one, but they're conducting presentations in their booth as well. So also make sure you go to that Files tab and they have documents there as far as flyers, videos, and any information for you to take away, make sure you access that information there. Also, once you finish with one vendor, feel free to move to the next. The great thing about the virtual experience is that you can own it yourself. Second, there is an event directory available for you on the general page. We have conducted and made that so that you can feel free to network with all the attendees and the, the various vendors. They have their contact information there, so you're there to take that away. You can look at that and review it and know and decide who and how you want to navigate through this Meet the Buyer procurement forum. Thirdly, we have on-demand workshops available for you. So feel free to click on those. You can watch them now or you can pause and come back later or download them to your computer. We are talking about everything from the procurement process. So for our procurement rookies, we do have the role on certification that you can watch, as well as the small business development programs. For those who are veterans in our procurement process, there is the access to capital procu to procurement workshops, as well as the business resources webinar available for you. We also have live workshops that we are doing at the appointed time and you'll see those workshops listed. We do have to let you know that the uh, originally scheduled 935 workshop about the city procurement process has unfortunately been canceled. So we won't see that workshop, but you can definitely go to purchasing.houstontx.gov to see all the information that would have been shared in that workshop. Lastly, we wanna remind you that you can network with other small businesses using the networking channel. So go there, meet other businesses, talk to, to other businesses. Maybe you can get a collaboration formed. You can also drop your information in the chat feature there. If you have any problems with navigating this virtual environment, no worries. We have an event support team that is ready to answer your technical questions or any questions you have in general about Meet the Buyer, and you'll see the tab for event support. So if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to us. Happy vending and get ready to meet those buyers.